Hello everyone, I am Ranjit from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we will see on how to create the workflow using the predefined bundles in CDGC. The agenda of today's session is what are all the predefined workflow bundles available for creating the workflow in Metadata Command Center and then we will see on the quick demo on how to use this predefined workflow to create a workflow in Metadata Command Center and use it in CDGC. What are all the predefined workflow bundles available? The following predefined workflows are available in Metadata Command Center. The first one is Manage Assert Single Step Approval, a workflow with a single step approval process to evaluate, request and take necessary actions. The second one is Manage Assert Two Step Approval, a workflow with a two step approval process to evaluate the request and take necessary action. And the third one is Manage Assert Three Step Approval, a workflow with a three step approval process to evaluate, request and take necessary action. Now we will quickly jump on to a quick demo on how to create a workflow using these bundles and how we can use this in Cloud Data Governance and Catalog. In order to create a workflow in Metadata Command Center, navigate to Metadata Command Center and then click on Configure and navigate to Workflows tab and then click on Plus. So here I am going to create the workflow for subdomain. So I am giving the name like subdomain to workflow. And then choose the event type. And here select the subdomain as the asset. Then click on next. So here click on browse. So among this, the one with the updated by system or the predefined bundles. So here the name were manage asset single. So I'm just filtering with the name. So on the one which you are seeing like updated by a system, right? So these three are the predefined bundles available for workflow creation. So which are managers with single step approval, three step approval and two step approval. So here I will use single step approval. Click on that and click on select. So here it will show you the diagram of that corresponding workflow bundle. So here we can click on the roles to choose the role who will be participating in this process. So here I'm just giving governance administrator. So, so for decision request, I will give it as governance owner and the activities I will, I mean, to resubmit the requests, I will give it to the governance administrator. So once done, We need to give the life cycle for human tasks. So here for a decision, it should be in review. So and regarding the life cycles, so no change is like so what so when the asset is submitted for approval, it will by default it will change it to in review status. So no change is something like it will just preserve the previous or uh, life cycle of the asset. And this code draft is something like which will delete the draft version. So if the, the asset is in draft state then the asset will be deleted or if it is a published uh, asset and we have we are doing a update on this asset then the last published asset will be uh, version will be there and the draft version on top of the published will be discarded and draft which will allow us to edit the asset and in review which will put a lock on this asset and either it needs to be moved back to draft to edit the asset or it needs to be published and published option is to publish this corresponding asset so here decision I will give it an in review state. So 
So when it is approved, it should move to published state. And when it is rejected, it should move it to discard draft. And again, discard, we can give it for discard draft. Once done, save the workflow. So once the workflow is created, enable the same. So then, na so navigate to data governance and catalog. So here we are going to create a subdomain. Once done, we can add the stakeholders. So here I have added the GCS user as a stakeholder for both the roles, governance administrator and governance owner, since both the roles are participated in the workflow configuration. And then click on OK and click on Create. So now the asset has been created in draft state. So then click on Submit. So from the ticket step, we could see like a ticket has been created for this action. So here we can click on start. and I can approve the asset. Once done, we could see like the status is resolved and the asset is published down. We would love to hear feedback from you. Thanks for watching.